side of the hospital. And today we have this opportunity to bring you the shots inside. And this is one of the ward. You can see it's two beds per room, which means two patients in one ward. And they have, this is very soft. And I can tell this is all brand new. And everything actually benchmark. I see a standard hospital, so you can see we have the quit and also the other supplies. And we also have the oxygen pipe. So if the uh, patients need to take oxygen, then they will have the pipe from here. And they also have the, the uh, different material supplies, equipment. The cupboard, and also you can see the air conditioning because still right now the temperature is quite low. We are still in winter, and also the ventilation pad, this one. So we look at actually the air for ventilation already is purified. So this is one thing I would like to highlight. So look at the metrics and also is of the a medical supplies and right now the a workers right now doing the final checks on water supply and electricity supply and we also have the air purification and for this one I believe you don't really see this in normal hospital this is dedicated and specific for they warned with novel coronavirus patient. So it's transparent. So we can see this is like a wendel. So basically, this is a to prevent the cross infections. This is to protect our medical staff. So basically, you would like to pass the stuff, you put it in this transparent box, and the patient can get it. And we also have toilet. So it's a little bit dark because the A workers right now doing the final preparation. You can see the hot water and the toilet and also the A water heater. So they can wash their face here and taking shower. So this is one of the worn here. You can see the workers right now working against the clock to do the final preparation because today the hospital right now will deliver to the military. So what are you doing here? What to install here? So we are doing the electricity supplies. So let's check out another room. So we also have a TV set here. So we talk about this is a two stair floor. So this is the second floor, and we talk about there are four these kind of inpatient areas. So this is a building one, and this room is another room. And we will see the beds not moving yet, and also the a medical supply was not in place yet. So this is the a transparent. So they're still saying that the right now everyone is working against the clock, and you can see a lot of things really just done. So just the transparent box is saying like that the gel is not dry yet. Don't touch it. So you can see everyone's really busy here. So let's walk down the corridor to check another room. So we talk about the today military actually sent 1,400 medics. 
and to take over the hospital from tomorrow, they will start to admit patients with novel coronavirus. So the hospital provide 1,000 beds, so they have ICUs, have the a critical illness department, and also the a normal departments. They also have the a departments for the a laboratory check, infectious disease. So you can see this is a Ward 24, the Huoshenshan Hospital, and beds number 47 to 48. So basically, we can tell exactly how it looks like. Right now, we're doing the final preparation. And also look at the a lighting and also have the a sterilization equipment all in place. We talk about the military will take over and also perform the job. According to our knowledge, that 1,400 medics actually from the armed force. So they are tasked with treating patients in the Huoshenshan Hospital. And they send 950 from the logistic department, and they first arrived. That's the first batch of 450 from the a armed force, the a air force, and also the navy force. And they also send another group of experts from the army will conduct the steering job and also give the suggestions. We talk about actually this group of the a elite, they participate in the a SARS or Ebola tasks. They are veterans. They have quite rich experience in containing infectious disease. We look at it right now, each word right now is doing their final completion work. So look at the TV set. Right now, look at this is word number 21. The nurse is also doing the final preparation to stick the a numbers to each word. So look and see, this is war number four. Look at this is the access. The look that simple, but you can tell in a really, really short time period, we did a lot of efforts. We can know that the everyone will know work race it's a race against club. Once again, we need to mention this. So you can see it's maybe in a very simple way, but you can see they prepare a lot. And they also have this. This is a registration form that will stick to each bed. So a very simple one. This is just a paper made. In a really short time period, you cannot really say everything should be perfect, but at least we have them in place. So for the different room right now coming to the different final stage, you can see the nurses right now is sticking the numbers on the door. And right now I'm at the building one. So this is a two floors. It's building number one. So this is a two-story building. I'm right now at the second floor. So let's go downstairs. A lot of uh, viewers, actually, you have watched all these live streaming for the past a few days. I believe everyone quite know exactly what's going on in these days here in Huoshishan Hospital. And we also have a lot of different nicknames for the uh, Dolbozer or the Excavators. Actually, quite cute names, but that's also a way to show your support to all the workers here on site and also 
That's a really lovely name. So here this is the a pass passageway from building one to building two. So we still can see the noise made by the equipment here on site because everyone's really working their utmost efforts. And also look at here, this is carbonate that's for the doctors and nurses. I believe this is maybe their room so or their office. So let's get downstairs. So you can see the uh, bottles. This is for oxygen. I believe later on they will move to the room. So according to our knowledge, there are around 100 beds per floor. So which means it can accommodate 100 patients per floor. So you can see the workers still really hard to perform their jobs. They work day and night here. Right now, let's to see the rooms that for the medics. So a lot of places right now under construction. So forgive us if we really moving forward so slow. It's a very busy construction site. So you can see our construction workers everywhere. So they are making a board here, and you look at that this is the a form in middle, that's the middle material. So upon our knowledge, so the uh, hospital actually is benchmarked to the standards of infectious disease hospital, so which means all these construction work, all the uh, internal like lightings or CCTVs, the uh, ventilation system, the air cleaning system, and also these kind of fab, prefab materials all should meet the standards of infectious disease hospitals. So it looks like it's just so simple, right? It's not that really fine in details, but what I can tell you is here everything really strict to meet the standards.
我们去我们了解，你看我们这两间房啊，就其中呢两间房之间就有一个医护人员共用的一个房间。我们现在到。So look at these two room. So between two rooms, there is one room for medics. So let's check the medics room. So you can see right now it's also doing the final preparation. This is something really special. A transparent box. So basically open this door and you put some equipment here. And then close the door. And the person inside, medics or patients, they open the door at the other side to get all those equipment. So this is what this box for. So let's check the medics room. So this is a really small room, and this is for medics. I believe they not really finished interior decoration yet, but this is a small room for the a medics work for the a neighboring two wards. So this is a very small room for the medical staff to rest. So this is a small room you can see per every two wards. So this is a little bit what inside looks like of the Huaxinshan Hospital. Let's go outside to give you a closer look at the whole hospital. You can see our construction workers. There are quite a large number of workers here, working day and night. For Huashengshan Hospital, its construction is around. 33,900 square meters, and it's the emulation of Xiao Tangshan model in Beijing, which is the designated hospital for SARS. I can really tell you, nine days ago I was here. It's just a empty land, just a land near the lake. But nine days later, we have this kind of a hospital here, near completion. So you can see this is the building one we just were there inside. And look at this whole area. We have four these kind of buildings, two story buildings. So I would like to share you my observation. It's like nothing really here nine days ago. And today you can see we have four buildings here. This is construction miracle, right? And once again, race against time. This is show the speed of China, also the hard work. The utmost efforts made by all the workers and as well as the viewers. 
you know, live streaming or watch the live streaming every day because this is the kind of the heart, the love, the support we would like to give to the workers and also our support and care to all the patients, wish them can be cured as early as possible. And you can see right now we have all these kind of the carpet waiting to move inside. And also have the workers right now cleaning the land. So talking about the construction speed, I say day one that should be traced back to January 24th. That's the New Year Eve. So more than 100 excavators already arrived here. And on the first day of Chinese Lunar New Year, the construction started. And also we have the A. We talk about it's a ecosystem because that also they have a kind of the a protection that's the impermeable firm. So they have that firm to pretend any the a wasted waters or the a soils get and the a polluted underwaters. And also you can see the soil, the land actually. Within four days, that's made the whole foundation. And then they started to put all these kind of pre lab moving to the site. So basically, they are doing all these things at the same time. So this is kind of the a boarded room, and these a pre lab room actually also started their construction from the day of the construction. So you can see a lot of things actually started at the same time. And on the fourth day of the Lunar New Year, the, a two-story building, which is the one you are looking at, these kind of two-story building, the steel construction were shaped. And then the next day, the 300 pre fab rooms arrived on site, and the workers started to work on the electricity, the wastewater disposal system. And the seventh day of China's New Year, the assembly of a pre lab all finished. And so on. The eighth day, that's the uh, yesterday, February 1st, they put all these pre fab rooms on place and also start to get all the electricity, water supply smooth. And today is the final delivery day. They will deliver to the military and start from tomorrow. The military doctors will start to admit patients with novel coronavirus. We have more than 4,000 workers and more than 1,000 large scale equipment all here. They work around the clock 24 7. And this is show our resolution. We will for sure win the battle. So look at the, we're right now doing the a final preparation also for the ground. We are right now see a putting the a cement on the ground. So they will also make the road smooth so the a ambulance can get into the place. And they also have a gas station only for ambulance. Has also helped to increase the efficiency of ambulance. And this is provided by Sanopac. And several days ago, I interviewed a young man. 
a worker here for the electricity supply. And his work for the coordination, and he talked me, and he at least worked 20,000 to 30,000 steps. And I actually accompanied him for half a day. He worked so hard, I can tell he sweat a lot. And never stopped making the phone calls or receiving phone calls. I can tell you a number, at least 300 phone calls he received half of a day. And his wife is a nurse working at Wuhan Union Hospital and from the cardiac department. It's right now, it's also on call and she always there to support the infectious disease department. And I can tell you they haven't met each other since the eve of Chinese Lunar New Year. And there is even no time for them to just chat a little bit through WeChat or WhatsApp. And their kids actually sent back to their hometown because they do not have time to take care of their young son. This is kind of story that quite common. And you can find a lot of this kind of story here. And they work 17 to 18 hours per day. And it, because they work so hard and it's so busy, time is really tight. They only maybe have one time to enjoy a little bit the instant noodle. And they just find really squeeze some time to sleep and not really sleep on bed. They just find some place to sit and rest a little bit. And right now you're looking at this is the a ground or the open area between two buildings and right now they are also I believe for the a pipelines. So I believe we should really give a big applause to all the workers. We know exactly how hard they work, or actually their hard work beyond our imagination. So talking about the core hospitals that have the wards, the outpatient areas, ICU, the a computer room, the stocks, and also the a waste disposable area, and also the area for ambulance. So this is the key areas inside the hospital. So we look at this is an under construction. So to all the viewers, right now we give you this live streaming, give you a really close shot of Huashan Hospital, which all patients can be cured at an early date, and for sure we will win the battle against virus. Thank you for watching.